Hey everyone, it's time to Nephis and chill. In this video, I'm gonna probably be the first to publicly talk about this, but I want to talk about it because it's really important to me, and it's also intended as uh, feedback um, to uh, Zenimax Online Studios too. And what I'm gonna be talking about in this video in two parts: uh, one where I'm just gonna be talking about it, and two, kind of what I talked through with Pain DX on my live stream is the kind of like really off-putting high aisle chapter preview event that they did on the Bethesda Twitch channel. Um, I was honestly trying to pinpoint what felt really off about it when compared to 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. Um, if you didn't watch the uh, preview event, you can go look at the Twitch VOD and kind of sit through it and kind of see what I'm talking about maybe, or maybe I'm crazy. You know, uh, I'm not sure how many of you watching this video watch the preview event, but for me, it it just didn't sit well with me for some reason. Um, was it the hype? Was it the card game? Was it a bunch of other things like maybe uh, Twitch chat being less receptive to it? Uh, as an example, like approximately over over fifty thousand viewers dropped to about two twenty seven thousand viewers very fast once um, they got into demonstrating the card game. I think it's a combination of a lot of things, but if I can get feedback on the presentation of the chapter, I think Baratron from UESP, she's a wonderfully uh, intelligent person, um, on the forum thread where they're asking for her feedback for the preview event, said this, The stream was rather disappointing, to be honest. I played about 10 hours of the early access preview, and I know that High Isle is flipping amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. The storylines are great. I probably spent about two hours just wandering around the island filling in the map. The pre-recorded part of the stream with CJ, Rich, and Taylor was fine. Just as ever, too fast to take in properly. But I feel that focusing solely on Tales of Tribute for the light part of the stream was a mistake. Usually in these things, you do the fast pre-recorded presentation, followed by just Gina and guests from the studio going through everything more slowly in detail. If I was in charge of the program, I'd have gone through the exciting features of the new zones. There are noble houses. There are druids. There are two rival noble houses and three groups of druids. Here's Gonfalon Bay. Look how well designed it is for players to live in. Here's a castle. There are three different orders of knights. Here's a druid circle. Here's a druid village. Look at these cliffs. Look at this grassland. Look at these beaches. Aren't they gorgeous? Here's a volcanic vent. Look at these enemies that you have to fight. But instead of hyping up the new chapter, they just showed Tales of Tribute in the dreariest manner possible. I don't quite know how they managed to do that. Maybe that should have been pre-recorded and edited as well. The game itself is kind of fun to play, even against NPC opponents, and will likely be super fun against actual humans on voice chat. I'm looking forward to an ESO livestream with Lord Master Lehman Total. I hope they managed to get him to discuss the lore of High Isle before the game is released, because it is fascinating. So yeah, I mean, after reading this post by Baratron, I, I was like, yeah, that, that totally makes sense. I, you know, I was watching the stream, and then I felt like, you know, uh, they could have showcased a lot more of the next chapter, because as you, you, saw, you guys saw from my video, when, I, when I'm like going over everything I saw, I mean, that's like 42 minutes long, right? But when you are sitting on stream um, and showcasing the card game for like 90% of it, it's kind of, I mean, it's not engaging. I mean, it, it's one thing to actually be, be you know, participating in it. It's one thing to actually be, you know, aware of what's going on. Uh, I think it lost a lot of people. I think, like, people got really confused by how convoluted it looked. I mean, it's, again, again, it's very different actually playing it versus just watching somebody play a card game, right? So, you know, that's fine. But um, there's also another thing, I think, that kind of put me off about the preview event. And it's the... Uh, <laughs> well, actually, I think, again, I'll pull up another person who I think did a great job commenting on it. And Zam Zam, who runs MMO Bits... Uh, who is a Star Wars The Old Republic content creator. And I'll kind of get into that here as well. Uh, she said, Not going to lie, watching the Bethesda moderators deleting any messages that criticize ESO is pretty disappointing. All the messages I've seen that have then been deleted are super mild. Nothing nasty or abusive at all that you would expect to be deleted. On top of that, they're deleting messages mentioning PvP. 
Can't say I'm surprised given what happened in January. I have no idea what that's referring, referring to. Goes to show how much they care about the PvP. Was almost going to come back to the game, but yeah, nah, I think I'll hold off for a while. So, this is a problem I have on multiple fronts. I think that as even other non-ESO players have noticed, even people who probably are trying to like see what ESO is about, um, the moderation of the Twitch chat during the chapter preview event seemed a bit too, like, w more than usual heavy-handed. Um, people were genuinely just asking about PvP, which in this case I think is very and completely different from the idiots who you go to the cooking streams or the sound design showcases for ESO, you know, spamming fix PvP, fix PvP. You know, there's a big difference there, but these were people just asking genuine questions about PvP. Uh, for next patch, they were being timed out or having their messages deleted. I'm sure you know it's quite hard to moderate so many people chatting at once, um, but it felt like any any mention of PP was getting shot down, and I think that's not good considering a chapter preview event where a chapter in general is all of ESO players coming together to celebrate ESO or just to kind of look forward to ESO's next adventure, even if maybe they don't get what they. Um, one, uh, or whatever for the, for the year. I'm not a pvp -er, nor do I really have any sympathies for a lot of them based on past interactions, but it, it's just not objectively not good. It's just not. And it, it just looks bad. And that, that's, I think that's another part of why the preview event seemed a little off-putting to me. Um, in addition to people, like, being a lot more, uh, not uh, in some sense hostile, but also kind of like not very receptive to the chapter and uh, especially to the card game, right? If I had to compare, and you'll see in my conversation here with Paint, if I had to compare the usual vibe or statistic vibe of it, let's say like normally nine out of 10 messages or chatters in the Bethesda Switch channel is positive, you know, very positive. Um, but this time around, it was like six out of every ten were very, you know, negative. And I think that, that I think that was also part of why it, like it felt really different compared to every other year I've watched um, the, the Bethesda Twitch stream for the chapter preview. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to talk about. Um, I, I I do want to say one thing though. I, I've been I've been seeing people like lash out at people who say they are. You know, they want it, they're looking forward to the card game. And then there's people, like, lambasting them for it. But, like, you guys shouldn't... No one should be doing that, honestly. Like, if people want to enjoy the card game and want to try it, let them. Um, same would go for any other content that would have really, that would have been released in this context. Also, I think as um, some people will feel, I think some people think, like, the card game took away from what they could have gotten or like the game but it's a, i think it's a bit more complicated than that i don't think for a lot of people it's that case i think it's not a matter of being something being taken away because you're getting the card game i think in this case for a lot of people they just feel like it's not enough being added but yeah um let me know what you guys think down in the comments below i also do have some polls out on both Twitter and YouTube. So the official feedback thread on the forums only has a measly 224 votes total with 22% saying you're, they're very excited for High Isle, which is only 51 people. Uh, 51 people saying they have mixed feelings about High Isle. Uh, and we have 122 people saying they want some, they want they wanted something different from High Isle. Whereas so far my Twitter poll, which only has 376 votes, uh, with five days left, uh, um, almost half say they're interested in, in playing High Isle. Twenty five point eight percent say they're you know they're neutral about it, and uh, almost a quarter is saying they're not interested at all. Meanwhile, the YouTube poll and keep going up because our I think our last YouTube poll had upwards of eight thousand votes uh, for the account wide achievements. And I'm basically asking like who's interested, and it looks like thirty four percent say they're in the interested camp, whatever degree it may be. Dur another thirty eight percent say. Um, they're not, no strong feelings about it. And the remaining 28% uh, say they're just not really interested or leaning towards uh, in, not interested. So let me know what you guys think either in the comments below or in these polls. I want more data, so uh, give them to me. But yeah, thanks for Nefes and Shilling. Uh, and here's the video conversation I had with Payne, which I think will kind of covers both sides 
or not both sides really, just kind of like perspective on the preview event and maybe like some people's feelings about the card game or even the game at this point in general. Um, but yeah, I, I know a lot of you also commented on both the polls on Twitter and YouTube. Uh, I think the real Godzilla said it just doesn't feel like ESO to him anymore. It feels like a midlife identity crisis loss is going through. Um, and there, again, there's a sense where a lot of people just don't think the card game was enough. But I get that. And again, we'll be talking about in this video. But not in the chapter release, which is the biggest thing of the year. Okay, so you, you'd be fine if it released like in quarter three or quarter four DLC. Oh, hell yeah, they should have added this in the DLC. That would be great Then what, what would they, okay, again, within the, within, the, within the context of performance, what would they have, what should they, they have released? New, they should have added a new weapon line or class they or can't. something. can't. Why? Because that affects performance. No, it doesn't. <laughs> yes, it's it just does. Just catch you log into. What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> How does that affect performance? What? <laughs> How does that affect the? Like, I don't get it. It's Adding like a, a new, new weapon skill line. Of new stuff. Yeah. Bro, the whole reason why they can't. Do, do you know why they're recycling skills and shit? You know what I mean? Like, the elemental weapon animation is the same for uh, the sword crystal weapon, right? Do you know why they're recycling so many abilities and effects? Well, yeah, well, because they're, they're they, they, new animations and stuff, but like because they're still like centering their their additions to the game around like the previous generation of the consoles, dude. Well, you know what I mean? mean, they have to change the animations and crap, and they just have to change how the but, abilities work and how the game but, like but, is. But the animations are so crucial to the identity of a, a skill or a skill line. Yeah, but they work they fine. Honestly, I like the quick animation. I don't care if they reuse assets to like you know how Race Against Time is the same as like hitting molten armaments and shit. You know, well. Pretty much the same. I'm pretty sure it is at least. Like, I don't care how they do that. Okay, so if it was like the shitty weapon skill line <laughs> with recycled animations, you'd, you'd, be, you'd be okay with that? I don't okay, know, man. maybe not with a new weapon line, but like a class, like a new class that utilizes new abilities and stuff. Like, I don't know, they've done it before and they make new animations for stuff too all the time for like even with the little PVE things where like you activate like a door or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I don't know what they could have done if they were worried about performance, man. That's the thing. That's why I'm not like. Mad? I just, I just like hate disappointed that even. mentality, you know? Like, what? I mean, we always get told everything gets put back because of performance. And then, I like, mean, nothing that... happens with performance. So, like, yeah, I mean, fucking, I don't know, man. what do you do when you can't fix performance and then now you can't make new content? You just make bare bone content that, like, nobody enjoys or a very small minority of people enjoy? I'm going off what the polls say. There's, like, small minority of people that are going to enjoy this from first glance. I mean, like I said, uh, compared to before, where it was like 9 out of 10 messages in Twitch chat were positive, it's 6 out of 10 messages today I felt like were negative. That's like, that's oh, huge. yeah, I mean, it's a huge drop. That's, that's, uh, I mean, can you understand why they're negative? Plus though? Uh, uh, what, you, what you say? Like, this is they're all negative because of these reasons that I've been explaining, you know? It's well, well, I get it, I get hype, it. You know, that's why people but, are. I mean, people are saying, oh, people are just so negative. It's like, yeah, they have a right to be negative, you know? This is the product they're paying for. And they put their what they wanted out like consistently over the years, mm -hmm. and what they expect of a chapter release, and what they'd really like to see, and then it just can constantly gets like ignored, you know. And I'm not saying this is like developers' fault. It's developers are told what to do and what to make, you know. They have to do their job, and they have to do whatever the boss says, right? And they want to keep their job, obviously. It's just, I, it's people above them, man. They're making these poor decisions. Comrade, a word. But like, again, I don't know, man. I don't know what they would I have think done. polls would be a good option for ESO, too. Like, I think like, they need to see these more often. I know they just put, like, one up on the forums, like an official one. Oh, the... the but they, they didn't ask, like... They don't ask, like, things like, what would you like to see in the newest chapter? Well, like, they put out what they're going to put in the chapter, and they're like, well, how do you feel about it? It's like, well, we like it, we are indifferent, we don't like it. You know? Well, it's I mean, like, if all the ones that don't like it, what would you like to see? And they don't... And they put out their feelings. We want a new class. We want a new this. We want this. And it never happens. You know? Well, the poll here we get companions is... companions and we get cards. <clears throat> the poll choices here are very excited for High Isle. Mixed feelings about High Isle. And one something different from High Isle. Yeah. And 70... Well, 54% of that... Oh, it's only 143 is, people, dude. Yeah, it's still early on. There's another poll right now. It's so... Um, Small. <laughs> this is a player poll. This one was up before that one was posted. I'll put it in your chat. Where's the player poll? Let me let me see this. This is a player poll. poll. This one is. Honestly, I, I, might, I might run my own poll, dude. Honestly. There's two like kind of like really interested, interested, neutral, not interested, and really not interested. And there's other. Only 224 people. 
Um, yeah, it's not a lot, but I like mean, these I are think, early polls, obviously. I, I, I put the poll and, uh, out. People on YouTube, don't vote on the forums Twitter, for sure. They should put it on other social media platforms. Ah, shit, I'll put it on I mine. Put the, I put I'll that put in the Genius communication post. Wait, well, what, said, what, what, like, what should my poll polls? say? What should my poll say? Um, I would probably structure it like, kind of how that player did it. Like, really like it, like it, neutral. Don't like it, really don't like it. The no card other. game, just, or yeah, the or just, the chapter. Well, I guess like it, overall. Overall, but, I'd say overall. This you know, is very that's important. A better example, right? Yeah. Like whole thing in general, but like I think you need that um that five options for like to really see you know obviously like five options okay people who are really annoyed with it like I like how the this guy did it like you know like oh like a good, lot of really good good neutral oh shit I'll, do, like, I'll fucking do it right you know? now fuck it I wouldn't put the other you know what I mean Cause other, it's, like, oh, I don't, yeah, it's kind of a waste you know, you know. like w what do you mean other like there's five options you know. Like, you have to be somewhere between yeah. those five, right? Alright. Wait. Oh, shit. What's the question again? How are you interested what in What are playing? your thoughts on the high aisle? Um... I guess, what are your thoughts? Or what are, what's your chapter. initial impression of initial the Initial impression. Aisle, yeah. Bruh. Of the high aisle chapter, you know what I mean? I think that sounds good, right? What are your initial impressions of the high aisle? Stop really playing it so the devs don't care and half of them don't even have hair. <laughs> what? Play BDO where you can have boo boo and a game that works. There we go, boat in your thing. <laughs>